Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm getting caught up on my personal Cricut challenges that I do with Misha at Scraps and Things 1. I will post a link below this video to her channel so you can check her out and get more inspiration. Basically every week we challenge each other to do a different project using our Cricut, at least one Cricut image, um, sometimes more or less. Last week, it was due May 1st, was a Mother's Day card um, using at least one Cricut image and we had to do like a fun fold card or a card we'd never tried before. So I used my Bitty Blossoms die. I used the leaves here, die cut them and emboss them. I used um, some paper from the Butterfly Garden Stack by DCWV. And I used my Cricut cartridge, Pack Your Bags. This, this cartridge is adorable for vacation um, and travel images. Really, really cool. So I turned to page 65 and I put together this flower right here. I sized it at three inches. Okay. And I followed a tutorial from Stamp, actually I'm going to show you on my computer here, <laughs> okay, right here I followed a tutorial stamp with Tammy.com, she is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and this is her card, I thought it was so adorable, I kind of followed the tutorial exactly, I didn't have, the, you know, the products that she has, but um, the, it's so easy, guys. It looks harder than it is. And it's really, really easy. She does a fantastic tutorial. I will post the link below. So when you cut your papers to do this card, it's called a curtain drapery fold technique. Um, when you cut it to do the drapery folds, you can actually get two cards out of it. So these are A2 size cards. And here is my drapery fold. It was so simple. It looks so much more complicated um, than it is. And then here is my Cricut image. Now, the only thing that I did different on the image from here, I did all of the layering, but in the middle of the flower, I used my tiny flower punch in the center. And then this one I actually used three different punches. I used this one from EK Success and then I used this side from size from the Paper Studio and then this size to make my little flower. So this flower is the Cricut image and then here's the leaves from Spellbinders and then this um, flourish was actually attached to the flower here. So really cute flower and I just kind of embossed it a little, put a little bit of um, white accents with my jelly roll. Stamped thinking of you, but on the inside I stamped Happy Mother's Day and then in the corners here I used this corner punch from the Paper Studio. So really, really quick, easy, simple cards to put together and um, like I said I will I will post the link below this channel to stamp with stampwithtammy.com easy quick fast tutorial to put together some cards. So if you guys have any questions let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care.